Dundee United are looking an increasingly good bet for the cup. They might have taken the lead at Tannadice last night after just three minutes. Mark Perry's pass and Lars Zetterlund hammered a shot against the junction of post and crossbar. A let off for Hearts, but not for long. From Andy McLaren's corner, which followed, Dave McPherson's clearing header was knocked back into the box by Morris Malpass and Robbie Winters was alive to the chance. 1-0 to Dundee United. Great determination by Malpass set up the goal and Winters climbed above Gary Locke to beat Gilles Rousset. Colin Cameron was in at the start and the finish of a move which nearly brought Hearts the equaliser. But Cameron's effort was well blocked by Sieb Dijkstra. Into the second half and Davy Weir took route one for Hearts and it nearly paid dividends. Malpass headed straight to sub John Robertson and his volley wasn't too far off target. United had a chance to seal the tie. This was made in Scandinavia. Eric Pedersen to Shell Olofsson and Zetterlund failed to control the cross. Tommy McLean not impressed. Hart, not surprisingly, gave it everything to try to take the match into extra time. This was their final effort in the final minute. Cameron battled for the ball with Pedersen at the corner flag. The United man gave the ball away. Gary Naismith's cross, McPherson's header, and a spectacular diving stop by Dijkstra. But that was full time. A replay win for United. They're 12 games unbeaten. And after a polite handshake, manager McLean couldn't hide his delight at reaching the quarterfinals.